How's it going guys? Boy in a Scanner here back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about an antenna that I built using some coax. I'm going to show you what it looks like and we're going to do some testing and see how it performs. I'm sure a lot of you guys have may have some spare coax laying around the house which is what this is right here and this is a really simple idea on how to just build a quick scanner antenna using some simple components. Uh, just a, an old piece of coax an adapter here. This is a BNC to, I guess it would be an F connector, which is just a regular twist on a coax connector. So um, that goes to BNC. And then for the SDS 100, I have a little adapter here um, that goes down into the SMA um, connection on the top of the radio. Um, I do have one connector right here. Um, that's a really nice connector. Let me show you how this works really quick before we get started. I'd really like to get this this little adapter to work. So it just screws right on and it looks really nice. Uh, you can see how it just uh, fits on there really good. Problem is, is it doesn't seat down quite far enough for the pin to get a good connection inside of the receiver on the radio itself. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way. Um, I do have tools that I could probably machine this in kind of uh, build it at a wedge shape so it can screw down in a little bit deeper. Um, either that or I thought about taking down this piece on the scanner, but I don't really want to do that to the scanner. So I might take some material off of this. Um, but I just like this because it's really secure, you know, for the longer antennas that really, um, it's got something to rest on here so it's not stressing the, the connector on the, on the radio. But anyway, let me get back to this. Um, so this is the antenna that I built right here. Um, so here is the connector. So this is just an adapter that goes from, you know, regular screw-on coax F connector fitting to a BNC. Um, and then this is the antenna itself. And this is just an old piece of coax. Uh, I think this was just an 18 gauge piece of coax. I made it 19 inches long because I wanted to have just an antenna that I could test some ham bands on, on the SDS-100. And I do have the Rimtronics here. This is my main antenna that I use on the SDS-100, although it does not pick up conventional that well for me anyway. It's not the best. It picks up good sometimes, but it's kind of spotty. So I wanted something, I just wanted to test something here and see if I could just make myself a free antenna uh, to use. Um, on the ham band. So this is a 19 inch piece. I measured it from the top of the connector right here all the way to the end is 19 inches which is the suggestion roughly for two meter band which is what I'm trying to listen to. Um, it's the Intermount Intertie. It's just a series of repeaters for amateur radio that, that's in my area. So I wanted to listen to that um, and all I did was I went ahead and took off all, I just stripped all the material off here to bare coax core and the copper core uh, made sure to pull out all these little ground wires I made sure that those were pulled back so they're not touching this center core and then I left that much material on there just to give it some stability um, I guess you could try to take it all the way down it starts to become a little bit difficult to keep the uh, center pin inside it because I could literally just pull this straight out um, so it doesn't look the prettiest, but this is an example of an antenna that you could build quick and easy and probably for free. And what you can actually do is just look up different size antennas for the different frequencies you want to listen to and just make a few of these antennas different lengths and then just go ahead and give it a test. Um, so I just held on to this piece with a pair of pliers while I stripped off you know, this piece and I just did it a section at a time. So I would strip off maybe three inches at a time, you know, all the way down. Um, and then I used this little adapter here. And so I'll go ahead and put this together. And that just screws right on here. I just picked this up uh, at a local Ace Hardware a few months ago. I've just had it laying around. Um, and then our little SMA to BNC fitting right here. <clears throat> And then on the SDS-100, we could just go ahead and screw that back down on there. Um, you could see why I wanted to get this other connector to work. Um, this one here, because you can see right here, there is a gap. 
So you have to be extremely careful in wet conditions to make sure to not get any moisture or anything down inside there. Um, and you don't want to put any force on this because you could actually break this if you, uh, you know, were to hit this or something like that. Um, so like I said, it's not the prettiest antenna, but I'm just going to go ahead and let this scan for a few minutes. I'll probably put a few uh, clips of video also. I did some scanning last night on a, on a ham radio net. Um, on the on actually the frequency I was kind of building this for so I'll give you an idea of how that works So we'll just let this kind of go for a few minutes, and we'll be right back Frequency one two eight point three five this in a positive discretion, maintain one two thousand Idaho Falls altimeter three zero zero four. Information echo current. Uh, call sign, name, and location, please. Okay, we had a double that time, but I was able to get David November November seven Yankee. Good evening, David, and thank you for your check in. The other call sign or calling station, if you can come back with the call sign, name, and location, I appreciate it. Okay, there's not a lot of activity on the radio right now, so I will go ahead and make another video to go up and post. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually run the scanner on each one of these different antennas I have back here. Um, I'll let you listen to the Rimtronics, and we'll compare that to a couple other antennas that I have. I've got this, uh, I believe this is a, about a 15-inch have to I'll have to grab the name for this one but I'll put that up um, so we'll compare it with that and then I have the stock antenna as well as this telescoping antenna here um, and this one you can extend this one works fairly well um, so we'll go ahead and test all these in a separate video I don't want to make this video too long um, but we'll go ahead and compare all these to my uh, homemade antenna on a few different digital frequencies as well as some conventional frequencies and we'll see how they do. So this is just a quick video on how you can build a simple antenna just using an old piece of coax. You can just grab an old piece, cut it up and you know you could try a few different sizes uh, you know maybe some for the 400 megahertz range um, some you know whatever you want to do you could build a few of these different little antennas I know I have tons of this coax just laying around just small bits and pieces of it so why not utilize it and also you know sometimes we're impatient we want something new to try out uh, let me know some of your results down in the comments below I'd love to hear those and hopefully you enjoyed this video take care Go ahead and subscribe, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.